Hi there guys, I'm Chris. I'm here with Mike today where we're gonna play with a giant vacuum truck. Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden with the Geek Group. Today we're here with Mike with the City of Grand Rapids Sewer Maintenance Department where he's gonna play with a giant vac truck. So we've got a, a, uh, a storm drain yes. that there's water infiltration. We've got so much water with all the snow melt because it's April and it's just so much water coming in, it can't get rid of it all at once. No, that is correct. Okay, um, but it's not. <laughs> <laughs> that was good, okay. We have a sanitary sewer main that rolls through here and with all the rain that we've been getting and all the groundwater infiltration through the sanitary sewer, it is what's what we call hydraulically overloaded. Too much water in the pipe. Too much water, too much sewage equals a backup. Okay. And what happened with this storm drain and this sanitary sewer, that there's so much water and sewage, it had nowhere to go but up. Okay. And I'll show you over here. All right, so what do we got? Okay, right here is what's called the sanitary sewer, which means there's sewage in there. Okay. Okay. And what happened today is there was so much rain along with the regular sewage that normally flows through here that the sewer just can't handle it all. Now, does it rainwater go in a separate system? That's, that's those over there, it's storm drain. Yes, it does. This area has a separate storm sewer and a sanitary sewer. Okay. So you're probably wondering why is there how, groundwater? How did rain get in there, yeah. How did rain get into the sanitary sewer? Well, this line, unfortunately, has a lot of what's called groundwater infiltration. Somehow, some way, groundwater is coming up in through the pipes, probably through the joints, where okay. over time, uh, shifting to the ground, you might get a small crack in the, in the sanitary sewer pipe, and that allows water to come in. And it's because there's one of those joints every 20 feet or so, and that adds up. Yes. Okay. Correct. So this is just snow melt, rainwater, all that. Yes. Building and building. It's not. It's. It's an overflow of input. It isn't like there's a tree root or, or dirt or something blocking the pipe further down. It's just there's so much stuff coming in that Absol it's, it's backing up. Absolutely. Okay. And it's slowly making its way back down because the rain has stopped. Okay. And so it is making its way down. But at the peak of the storm, the sewage and the rainwater came up through this manhole and was leaking out of these two holes in the manhole cover. Okay, the, the little, the pick holes where you, where you grab it to lift it up. Yes. Okay. Yes, most manholes have two holes and this allows the sewer maintenance worker or construction workers to lift this manhole cover off okay. the manhole itself. So we had leakage coming out of there and coming right across the parking lot. Yes. And going down into there, into the, the storm drain over there. Yes. Okay. The, the sewage was leaking out of these two holes and the sewage will flow with gravity. And of course, there's a storm drain that's supposed to pick up all the storm water. And so the sewage from this manhole came over to the storm drain and dumped into the storm drain. Okay. And I noticed there's some lettuce and some toilet paper around the storm drain grate. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that cover off and I'm gonna clean that, that storm drain. So I'm we get to play with a big vacuum truck yes. and clean all that up. Yes, because we don't want any of the sewage to go to our natural waterways, which is the pond, uh, a creek, which eventually flows into the Grand River. Okay. So we wanna keep the river as clean as possible. And right now that there's a catch basin down in the bottom there, just like yes. this, there's a big, a big yep. vault. And yep. that's just sitting down there but yes. if, it, if more rain came in, it'd lift it up and send it out. Yes. So we want to catch it before it leaves. Yes. Okay. And so what we're going to do is we're going to clean it and hopefully vacuum up all the waste products that are in there and leave it squeaky clean. So the next time it rains, it'll be a clean basin for the um, storm water to roll, roll into. You want to show some guys how this thing works and Ab have some fun? Absolutely. Cool. Ooh, which is cool. Now, Mike, I gotta yes. ask. Yes, sir. What is that? This is a heavy-duty hammer. That's more than just a hammer. That's, <laughs> that's a hammer with an angry hawk bill on the yes. end there. We use a sledgehammer for all different type of activities. Take off catch basin grates. Why, open up why that instead of the, the other little hook that I got to play with? Well, I'll show you why. Okay. Come over here. That won't fit in a hole? Yes, it will. Oh, okay. But sometimes we go to manholes where the manhole cover hasn't been taken off in a long, long oh, and time. it's all packed with dirt and stuff. It's all packed with dirt, 
sometimes in the winter time they freeze on there. So what we got to do is we got to take the manhole or the uh, sledgehammer and <laughs> tap it like that. Okay. And the tap uh, frees up the manhole cover. And then we can take it like this. Okay. Just like that. That's cool. So not all manhole covers come off as easy as this one did. <laughs> <laughs> That's so, a neat toy. Yes, it is. Okay, we're going to get ready to vacuum this up. But we, we need some tubes to uh, put down the hole. Okay. okay. So, all right. So, what are we gonna do? We gotta okay. we got we got the cover up. Yes. Now we gotta add tubes to the yes. big tube. We're okay. gonna put tubes on the truck, and that will allow us to vacuum up all the water that is in the storm drain. Okay. So we're gonna pull off one at a time and come over here. Now this tube has flanges on both ends, so it yes. connects on there, whereas the other one has the funny end on the bottom. That goes on the bottom? That's Correct. the end tube? Absolutely. Yep. Okay. So these clamps Is there clamp... anything I can help with? You want me to hold something? Or... You can sit there and look pretty. I'll sit here and look pretty. Okay. okay. <laughs> Down. And this is a snap-on band clamp, just yep. like we use in the lab on our vacuum fittings. Yes. Okay. 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 And I can control this boom right from this joystick. Okay. I can go up, That's down, neat. left, right. Can also, it go in and out as well, or just also it goes? In ah, it does extend. And okay. Out. That's cool. Okay, so we're going to put one more on. Move this out of the way. Okay. This is what we call the leader tube. This is the leader tube. Because it always leads down the hole. Okay. And it's got the, the scalloped end so that it, yes. when it sits on the bottom, it'll still it, pull stuff in. Correct, because okay. it, it allows air to come in there, and it, which helps with the vacuum. Okay. Okay. You can see that some of the sewage got caught up in this catch basin. Now I see the water's coming back in just as fast as you're sucking it out. Yes, it's because it must be the pond where it empties is so high okay. that it's not allowing me to vacuum all the way down to the bottom. And the water has so much inertia that now it's higher than it was when we started. Now Correct. we go back down and there it goes. Yeah, okay. Correct, yep. So we're dealing with hydraulic inertia as well. Yes. So I could be here for a while, for a long time, uh, vacuuming this water out. But it's still the water's still gonna keep coming because and you're gonna have to empty the pond. I'm gonna have to empty the pond, <laughs> so it might take a few months. Now, why did you start at the top and work your way down slowly, yes. as opposed to just jam this into the bottom and go for broke? Well, with this type of tube, I can't do that because it won't have any air. Oh, it needs to mix air with it. Yes. That's why we. That's why you have the holes on the side. Use the leader tube, correct? Okay. Yep. So we have to go down. Uh, nice and slow, slow and easy, 
and okay. that will allow me to uh, take the basin down. Okay. But of course, so since all the rainwater. This is the intake scallops down here, but these are air holes up here. Yes. To, you, yes. It's like a carburetor. Correct. Okay. Yes. So, um, you know, because we had all the rain today and, uh, and the pond is so high, as I was saying, I could keep cleaning this catch basin out. Well, my concern is you've got more pond than you have truck. Yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, yes. So, okay, so what do we do next? Well, I'm going to vacuum just up keep the pumping top of it. Clean well, it up. I'm going to vacuum out the top of it. I see there's some lettuce and some Cheerios and <laughs> whatever has overflowed from the sanitary store. Okay. And then um, put the grate back on, and unfortunately, we have to call that good. Okay, well, let's clean it up the best yep. we can. Let's do it. Fun science Bye -bye. fact. Do you ever notice how manhole covers are always round? Here's why. With a round manhole, no matter how it drops in there, it cannot fall into the hole. Since there's no square edges, no matter which way this manhole lines up with the hole, it'll always sit on top. This is a safety feature designed so that the workers below don't ever have a manhole fall in on them. And that is why manhole covers are always round. Um, so we've cleaned it out, and now yes. we're sucking pond water in. We've, we've got the sewage water out, so we're sucking pond water in now. Yes. And that's all the big, the big, the giant water shooting into it. Yes. Okay. So, so. what's next? Well. Hopefully the sanitary sewer is uh, relieving itself. Okay. Yeah, and, we've been uh, watching that go down yep. lower and lower as we've been here. So before we leave, maybe we can uh, pop the manhole cover and uh, see if it's gone down anymore. Okay. Cool. Or otherwise, we also have another catch basin over there that we can clean up. You want to go check that one? Absolutely. All right. I'll show you another neat feature of the truck. We have a spray gun, and I can spray the catch basin grate to get some of that toilet paper and lettuce off of it. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'll show you how that works. I'm guessing that's this thing here? Yes, it is. Cool. Yep. And here's the valve to turn the water on. And we can just lift this right up. 600 PSI. And you can control the fan of the spray by using that handle. This moves the fan? Yes, it'll fan the water right out. Oh, wow, that's neat. So you can combine this with a vacuum and get it all cleaned right up? Yes, yes. That's neat. I think I know what to get you for Christmas. Oh man, I want one of these. That's fun. Now is that vacuuming right now? Yes it is. Alright. I think we found How much water do you carry? Approximately 2,000 gallons. Oh, I want one of these. That's a good time. I think you make a good sewer maintenance worker. Oh, yeah. Did we get it? So the belly pack does everything this does? Correct, yes. Okay. Yes, it does. This little computer shows us uh, how many gallons per minute we're running. Um, it also tells us how many feet that our hose is out. Okay. I have about 750 feet of this hose. Wow. And so I was getting to know. Of oh, this radio. hose, the, the red hose. Correct. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to turn the radio control on. And that hands off control to the belly pack. Yes. Okay. Now there are times where catch basins or manholes are not right in front of your truck. They may be off the road a little bit. So this is where the belly pack comes in handy. It lets you be at the end of the hose and not stuck at the front of the truck at the control center. Right. As we were saying before, there's too much pond than there is truck. And so the reason why this, why my truck stopped was because I'm full. You filled the whole truck that fast? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. All right, so we're full. We've, we've filled the yeah. truck, yeah. 12 yards of 
Storm Mark. water. <laughs> Storm Flash. water and sand and... A little bit of sewage. Okay, <laughs> a little bit of sewage. We got the stuff off top, it's all good. Yes, we did. But the truck's full now. Yes, so is. how about if we shut the truck down and we'll take people through the truck and give them a tour and show them all the basic parts of the truck. Okay. Cool, yeah. all right. Let's do that. We take the tubes apart, just like we put them on. Okay. Roll it? Yeah, it looks like fun. I'll let you put it, uh, put the boom in and back where it belongs. Boom, in and out, throttle up and down. Yeah, this is the one I want. Okay. I just wanted to see. Uh... Oh, hell, I'd get me a cameraman with that. How far out will that go? What kind of feet? Okay, so we're, 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 we're just about there. Yeah. That's neat. So it allows you to reach the manhole. It's not right in the road. If it's off the road, 15, 20 feet, it's still able to work from that manhole. It only does one thing at a time, though. I can't move in two directions at the same time. Right. I'm guessing that's a safety feature? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's handy. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> that's neat. All right, okay. so let's take a look at the truck. We'll go like all the way around it and okay. just cover all the buttons and stuff and what all the major components are. Okay. These are all the buttons, lever switches that make this truck go. All right here. This is like the main control panel. All right here. Okay. Yep. And um, first off, we have what's called the pump mode. And this allows how much water you want to come out of your rider hose. Okay, so this this isn't the, the vacuum thing. This no. is from here. The rider hose, we're yes. going to do a video just on this, but this is the one that goes into sewers and it blasts things. It's yes. like a super rotor rooter kind of exactly. thing. Exactly. Okay. Yes, it is. So um, we have a pump mode, low, medium, high, because sometimes you don't need a lot of pressure. Sometimes you need a lot of pressure, so you okay. can switch it to high. And this goes, I saw the gauge goes all the way up to 5,000 PSI. Yeah, but the most we run is about 20, 23, 2400 PSI. Okay. It's the most we want to run. Um, we got the radio control switch. And that's now, the one that hands off controls to the belly pack? Yes. Okay. And the hose reel, this in and out, this will take the hose reel out and back in. Oh, it isn't like reels it up, reels it out. No. The whole thing moves away it's, from yeah. the truck. Oh, wow. Because sometimes you'll park at a manhole and the manhole will be right here. And then you just bring the <laughs> reel right out to the manhole. That's cool. That's, yeah. we're going to do a whole video on the router okay. hose. That's, that's a thing. Yep. And then we have the um, work light, which is attached to the boom. That's the black ones up yep. there? Or? Okay. And uh, we got a footage counter reset. This little computer will allow you, oh, it will tell you how many feet you are actually out into the sewer. How many feet of hose do you carry on the reel? Uh, there's approximately 725 feet okay. on my reel. So, um, I saw you using this for other stuff earlier, too. Yeah, you can use it for, for vacuuming. You can use it for... Um, it, um, how many gallons per minute you're pumping out. Okay, that's what you were looking at earlier. Yes. Okay. And also the mechanics down at the shop use it uh, if there are any problems with the truck. Oh, okay. They will uh, get on this computer and it tells them any potential problems okay. with the truck itself. And then down here, the, the blower on and off, we saw yep. you using those earlier. Yep, and the blower is another word for the vacuum. Yep. Um, and then down here, of course, we got the e-stop. The e any type of emergency or anything happens, um, you can turn off the whole kit and caboodle right there so um, and then uh, the rider on and off that's actually your water on and off oh okay so you want the water on turn it on and, now uh, what pressurizes the water is there a pump is yes. it like air driven or it's a pump okay and here's your throttle sometimes you need the throttle really high so the trucks really really kicking now I see it's on and off this is local control of that switch like this turns that on Yes. Okay. Yeah. You cannot 
throttle up without the throttle on switch being on. So this would be the enable and then this is pushing the gas pedal basically, yes, up or down, exactly. okay. Exactly. And uh, we have the water valve here that turns on and off. This is actually the, the valve that controls the water for the rotter hose. Okay. Now when we were using the spray gun, you need to turn this off and turn, and turn the spray gun on. Yep, I saw there were local controls over there for that. Yes. We'll, we'll get there when we get over to okay. the, the side of the truck. Okay. And then this is pressure up and down yes, on the water? Yes, okay. you can control the flow of the water. Um, you can control the flow of the water with the throttle, also with this switch that turns the water up and down. Okay. So. And then over here, these are the boom controls. Yes. So boom controls. In and out. Yes. And then this is up and down. Yes. Um, and, and left and right, so this is all four. Yes, and this controls the rotter hose. This allows ah. the hose to go in and out. Okay. So it says pay in, that will bring the hose in. And then you uh, turn it up and that uh, makes the hose go out. Okay. And that's, that's this way as opposed yep. to the switch over here that goes the whole reel in and out. This is yes. in and out, okay. Yep. This is just for the, the hose itself. And this is the end of the rotter hose right here? Yes. Okay. Now, does this, I, I see there's this, this assembly, the Fairlead assembly here. Yes. Does this move on its own, like to help guide the hose in, or yes. does it like just yep. go this along is what with we the call ride? The reel guide, and, it, and this reel guides as you're jetting out into the sewer, this will move. And then when you're ready to reel back in, what you do is you put the hose in this reel guide, and then it rolls it up real nice and in okay. a row. Okay, and that's how it keeps it all nice and organized yeah. in there. Okay. Otherwise, the hose would be all over the place. Now I see we've got lock and unlock mm -hmm. safety things down here. Yes, this particular switch is for this pinch roller. It's called a pinch roller. Okay. What it does is it pinches the, the hose down, so when it's reeling up, it's nice and tight. Okay. So if, if that's not on the hose, it can still, still reel up but it might not reel it up as fast as possible. Okay, and it's kind of neat to note that the switch down here isn't actually electrical. Can I flip that? Yes. You can hear it, it's air. Yes. That's, that's actually a little valve. Yep. That's really cool. And this other switch allows the reel to turn back and forth. Oh, the whole thing turns. Yep. Oh, that just keeps getting better. Yep. So, and there's a whole other set of controls on the back. Yes. That's neat. So, and then, of course, when you're driving down the road, you want to engage the switch. And that just keeps it from flopping yes. around when you're going down the highway. Yes, it does. Okay. And then down here? This is where, in the wintertime, it gets so cold out that the water in your tank may freeze. And so what we do is we'll take the hose and hook the rotter hose up to the recirculator and with a turn of a couple buttons the water just continually cycles its way through so it doesn't have an opportunity now, to freeze. Does the truck have to idle for that to happen? Like do you do this when you park the truck or? Um, once you turn the truck off then it stops recycling. Okay. But it will re recirculate as you're idling. Okay and it keeps the water from freezing in the hose? Yes. Okay. Is there a heater in there somewhere no. or is it just the motion of it keeps it's it from just freezing? just the motion of it. Okay. I never even thought of that. Yes. Cold. Now we've got your little toolbox down here. Yep. We got all kinds of toolboxes on the truck. This one, I keep the clamps for the tubes in. Okay. And let's see, let's move on down. Uh, okay, so what do we got back here? I see more toolboxes and, yep. and cones. And yep, our safety cones go right here. Uh, toolboxes where we keep a lot of our tools, shovels. What is that? This is a cleaning head we use for the sewers. Oh, fun. You know how heavy that is. Oh, yeah, I, I want to touch that. Thanks. All right. <laughs> wow. Okay, this goes on the end of the rotter. Yes. And it's just this big metal head with, it's weld slag down yes. the side. And then these are all high pressure nozzles shooting back and that propels this through the thing. Absolutely. So it's rocket powered pretty much. Yes. <laughs> cool. I'm really looking forward to the rotter video. All right. But yeah, these are just, uh, all the types of tools that we use. Oh. Metal detector. So That's can, a metal detector? Yep. So we can find manholes in the wintertime. You can go over to that uh, manhole. It's making right all there. kinds of noises. You'll know when you hit something. Yeah, I, I hit something. Can 
if you see the numbers on here, it'll turn to 98 when you pick something up. That's neat. So, I want one of those. We also use it uh, when there's a manhole that's buried. What happens is uh, there'll be a manhole and somebody will plant grass over it. Ah, okay. And if you're not right, you know, sure where it is, you can use the metal detector. I want one of those. That's fun time. All right. You know, that's one of the few toys you have I actually want to touch, just so you know. You keep, you know, here, hand me this. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah. More tools. <laughs> now, what, what's, this is a different router end. Yes, we have what's a lot of different types. What's this one for? We, we got to do a whole video just oh, on the yeah. router hose. This is just different types. This is what we call the cage or the poofer. The poofer? Yeah. Oh, okay. Different style of cleaning head. You want to touch this one? No, it's okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> Um, I'll switch places with you. Okay, here, I'll get out of your way. This control box right here also has an e-stop. So when you're on this side of the truck, if there's an emergency, you can stop the truck. Okay. Um, this tool package right here, we have a, what's called a body up, which will lift the debris tank up in the air. Now, does it tilt like a dump it, it truck? Tilts, or? Yeah, okay. it tilts in the air. Yep. Is that how you empty it? Or? Yes. Okay. And we also have a door open, door closed. So the back door of the debris tank We'll flip open. And that's the, the big pin locks that, that yeah. come in. Yeah, I saw those. Yep. And um, we also have a pump right here. Actually, I can decant the truck on the side over here. From this? Yes. Right here? Yep. I'll hook up this blue hose, put it right here, open this up. Well, first I'll unravel the hose. Yeah. And I'll put this end in the manhole itself. Okay. Open this up, and I'll turn the pump on right here, and then it pumps all you, the water in the debris tank back into the manhole, and the solids will stay at the bottom of the debris tank. Oh, okay. So. Now, how long does it take for everything to settle in there? Oh. Because we, we, what we vacuumed out was mostly water. How long would it yeah. take for the, the debris to settle to the bottom so that we can just pump the water it back? It doesn't take long for it to settle. Okay, because I saw so. there's some, uh, back here I saw these, and these look like rotary separators just by their shape. Yeah. So I didn't know if those were for separating liquids from solids or, or no, what? No, it doesn't. When the truck overfills, I can open this up and some of the liquid will come out. Oh, okay. So Now, what is this thing right here? I was trying to figure this one out. It's a ladder, isn't it? It's a ladder. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What is the big, pretty blue thing up here? Okay. Oh, that this looks is familiar. Another leader tube, another type of leader tube, and this allows you to submerge this leader tube into a manhole and still be able to vacuum. Because it, it sucks air. in air from all the way up here. Yes. So this lets you just jam it right down in, and you can go up to like here, I'm guessing, yes. or so. Yes. Okay. So, which is nice because when we're cleaning uh, big sewers and there's heavy flow in those sewers, but there's a lot of sediment at the bottom of the sewer, you want to be able to vacuum up the sediment. So even if it's full of water, this is to get the dirt off the bottom. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yep, it does a good job. Now that's your water tank. Yes. But what's this? This, well, Sometimes, I, I mean, <laughs> technically, mechanically, I, I probably shouldn't say anything. Okay. But um, it has to do with the blower, when the blower is running. Okay. Um, but sometimes it overfills, that's why there's a drain. So it's like a water separator on the way into the blower kind of thing? or I, I guess you could say, say Okay, it like that. cool. But. Now, there's all kinds of stuff here. This is the hydraulic manifolds for moving in our, the articulated boom and all that. Yes. Um, what is this? I see another, yet another drain. Yeah, it's a filter for the water. Okay. I'll show you what it looks like. Is this water in or yes. out? Oh, this is for filling yep. the water tank? Okay. We'll fill this up to a That looks a, a lot hydrant. like a fire hose. Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. We can fill this up to a water source and it comes up through here, comes up through here and goes into the fresh water tank. This Which is, is very nearly full. Yes. Okay. That's our indicator. Boom. Yes. This is the handgun lever. Okay. Right there. And this one's for the body washout. What is body washout? This is considered your body, the debris tank. Okay. There's solids at the bottom of it. 
Okay. Once you decant the liquids, you'll always have solids at now, the bottom. Now, decant means empty the tank. Correct. Okay. And the debris tank will lift up, and hopefully most of the solids will fall out. And then you turn your body wash out on, and you turn the water on, and it flushes the tank out. So there's like jets on inside the tank, yes, and they, they flush it all out. Okay. And then we've got just a ladder. Yep. And this, oh, the whole thing comes down. Yep. It's a whole drop rack kind of thing. That's neat. <laughs> so, like you so. have a lot of that pipe. Yes. Yep. We clean lift stations, and sometimes we have to use five of these just to get to the bottom of the lift station. We got to do a video on that sometime. That's got to be neat. Be and then yet more traffic cones yes. back here. You have a lot of traffic cones. You can never be too safe. <laughs> and then this is grease grease distribution from here. Yes. So one of the maintenance guys Absolutely. fills all these and it carries it around everywhere it needs greasing. Yeah, yes it does. And that's the job of the maintenance. Uh, Big output hose? Yes, this is how we decant. Okay. What we do is we drop this down the manhole, pull this lever, okay, and out comes your liquid. Now I see you're missing a pipe from the back yeah. rack. That's where I normally keep my blue tube. Oh, okay. Yeah. Why isn't it there? Uh, I've been using it lately, so. Oh, all right. Okay, so after you're done decanting, that all goes back up there and then yes. it's done and that's safe and it's good. Done. And yep. Now, this is the coolest door lock ever. It's this big, and I can understand why you would want that to be very secure. Yeah. But, but it's all, it's a big hydraulic deadbolt lock Probably, with these yep. big pins that go through. Yes, yes, and that's, exactly. I'm guessing somewhere you flip a lever and those all, pfft. Yep. We don't yep. want to do that right now though. Oh, no, no, it's full. <laughs> yep, these pins come up and then with the push of a button, how the door flops, flips open. Oh, it, oh, that's what the two big rams are up there for. Yes. It lifts the door right open. Yep. Okay. And then down this side, it's very much a mirror of the other side. We've got yep. the, the accumulators and, and the drop thing for the tubes yep. and another, how much non-potable water, how much like fresh water do you carry? That's approximately 1,800 to 2,000 gallons. Wow. So, so you, you haul a lot of weight. Yes, yes I do. Because with those full and that full, it's 12 yards. 18,000 gallons of water on top of the 12 yards of waste. Well, 1,800. 1,800, okay. 1,800 yeah. gallons of water plus the 12 yards of waste. That's a massive amount of weight. Yes, it is. Wow. But most of the time when the debris tank is full, you have already used some of the fresh water. Okay. Or non-potable water. All right, so thank you, Mike, for showing You're us welcome. your fabulous toy. You're welcome. This is This is amazing, and, and thanks for letting us share this with the world. We want to thank the City of Grand Rapids Environmental Services Department for letting us borrow one of their trucks and play with some manholes and clean up after a storm. The weather's starting to get a little icky again. The clouds are coming in, so I think we're done for the day. I'll say but so. We'll be back for a lot more with playing with your rotter and playing with more water and mess and fun and excitement and science. Absolutely. All right, thank you, sir. Thank you. I'm Chris Bowden with the Geek Group. Please remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and donate. Thank you to the city of Grand Rapids, and we'll see you next time. Have fun. This video was made possible by a grant from the Future Girl Foundation. This video was made possible by thousands of private donations from members and viewers like you. Please visit thegeekgroup.org for more information on how you can donate and become a part of our dreams of Avalon.